What have you seen to your mana? What's part of the plan? Don't you exhaust yourself? What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Ascendance of a Bookworm. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you'll be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Ascendance of a Bookworm Season 3, Episode 4, aka Episode 3. 30。ユーマルフォーミセル Pui? He says Pui? And he's poking at her! Rude! Is... Oh, is she actually Pui? <laughs> she actually did it? Spring prayer. I like seeing the seasons. It makes it really realistic. For reals. <laughs> hey! Why did you take it out? How rude! Why is he picking on her? Is he making her mad on purpose? Whoa. He won't break as easily. <laughs> like, for reals play? Huh. <laughs> she wants to keep some distance. <laughs> I'm glad that they are in sync with that thought. <laughs> he has such a mischievous look. Where's that other guy that was snooping on her? I want to see him again. Well, maybe snooping's not a good word. Investigating. It's so weird seeing like another area. Oh, flashy. <laughs> Great showmanship. He likes the attention, eh? You don't need to learn anything from him. <laughs> This is going to be really interesting. I like these prayers. Kind of gives us 
another facet of the culture. Green liquid. We offer the gods our prayers. This is like promoting the religion too. I hope mine's okay. That's a lot of physical work. Well, thank you for the education. <laughs> mm, the suspicious dude. Only two dining halls? Is he gonna listen? Is he really gonna keep mine and Sylvester apart? <laughs> Ooh, a new outfit. I like it. That color scheme's very nice. Their colors kind of match. What's wrong with wearing your heart on your sleeve? Especially when you're a child. Can't help it. Oh, he's still wearing the bracelet with the... Different colored gems. Mm. Huh, they're all wearing similar color scheme. So Vesser is interested in her food. Half? That's a lot. <laughs> he wanted the whole thing. <laughs> Did she get like half of his food too? Did they exchange? No. How about we have her chef train your chef?
Mm-hmm, she is talking business. She is promoting. Please invest in this restaurant. Ooh, she reeled him in. <laughs> Talent? You know, for a moment, I thought it was going to be a sword. Dancing. Oh, he wants to be praised by her. Oh, my gosh. Why is he so demanding? What's his story? He's like uninhibited, yet he doesn't know a lot. By carriage? Carriage? That, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like she'll be easily attacked, ambushed. Why is he interested in her? Oh, that's why he's interested. Ugh. My people gotta be all shady. Mm-hmm. Bypass it. Bypass that trap. So what if that was a trick to make you look, to make you think that that's all he wanted? Oh, I hope she'll be okay. Like, I hope she doesn't get a fever. I feel like something foreboding is about to happen. Everything is all hunky-dory. And then we met that dude who's affiliated with the high priest. Oh? Oh, they got a talk in secret? Huh? Jeez Louise! People want to kidnap her left and right! But what happened? Uh-huh. You went after the other one? He and the horse exploded? What? They kill themselves? Yo. Ugh. Leave her alone. She just wants to read books. Really? I mean, she almost got kidnapped.
Isn't kidnapping the same as harming? It went down with difficulty, she said. Poor thing. <laughs> what? That beam of light! Oh, oh. What if using your mana was part of the plan? Don't you exhaust yourself? What is going on? Oh, dang! God of Darkness Barrier? What the heck? Oh! Oh! Pray to the wind! Ooh, I like that little scene. That was cool. Oh, this is quite exciting. And then it's gonna end soon, oh my gosh! Oh! Wow, this is so cool! Is each gem an element for a god? Uh oh. Oh, you better protect her. What? What? Huh? <laughs> Quite the confidence that Ferdinand would actually catch her. I feel like we're seeing the perspective of a healer. Of a white mage. Like, there's so many, like, supporting spells, prayers. And he's the paladin right there. Ooh, she used a lot of mana. How are you out of mana? Maybe she is out of mana because she used so much for that barrier. And then she tried to go full speed. <laughs> she has a bleh. <laughs> Man, there was so much 
much action towards the end of this episode. It was so good. Oh, man. I feel like we're only going to get scenes like that like every three episodes. <laughs> we're on episode four. <laughs> oh. Oh, I really like this one. I always like the episodes, but this one I really like because it's showing more, which is what I wanted. I wanted to see more of this world. We got to see another village, and most of the people were tan because I guess they're farmers. Is that why they're all tan? And we got to see her doing the prayer and filling up that really big chalice with green liquid and then putting it in those barrels with the mares. And then we got to see more interaction with Sylvester. Like, he's really interesting in a quirky way. He's eccentric. And it seems like he's really good at anything he puts his mind to. But he's... The way he was interacting with mine, like, I want your food. And he's like, only half. It's like, were you always given what you asked for? And then he's like, how about we switch chefs? She's like, we can't switch chefs because of this. He's like, well, I'll just go to the chefs. And she's like, no, because they're merchants and they can't say no to nobles. <laughs> and he's like, then what do I do? It's so, it's interesting how she knows more about that stuff than he does. And she was originally a commoner. But she had to know about that stuff because she herself is a merchant too who will be dealing with nobles who did deal with nobles so she had really had to know what she could could not do what she could say and she's kind of stuck in between worlds because she's a merchant yet she's with nobles and she's going to be a noble so very very interesting i like this and then that scene with her doing all those prayers using the different um invokings of gods prayers stuffies whatnot <laughs> yeah this was a good episode let me know what you guys liked about this in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of youtube there is a discord link is in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash the whoa superfina outside of youtube and twitch i host podcasts across worlds where we're talking about anime manga and other things you're interested in if you like podcasts like that link to the podcast is in the description we're available on all platforms other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel, reacting to Ascendance of a Bookworm, Season 3, Episode 4, aka Episode 30. Hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Laters!